Hi folks, Dr. Mill will welcome you to our New Venture Creations BA325. This is our week one video lecture. We're going to take a brief look at chapter one, launching new ventures, an entrepreneurial approach. Here we seek to understand more about the entrepreneurship. We seek to basically define entrepreneurship, explain the role of entrepreneurship in terms of economic growth in the economy, and describe a little bit of the evolution of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is the process by which individuals, either on their own or in organizations, pursue opportunities without regard to the resources they currently control. Speaking to you as an entrepreneur, as a successful entrepreneur in my own small practice, entrepreneur is a mindset that is one, opportunity focused, about innovation, risk taking, and a growth orientation to growing a business. The role of entrepreneurship in the economy is not a linear process, not a straight line, it involves finding a problem or a market. Researching to understand the industry and the potential market. Validating the hypothesis that the entrepreneur has about the consumer, the marketplace, and the demand. And building a business design, planning it, and executing it. There are many variables that affect entrepreneurship, including the economic environment, competition, regulation, sources of capital, labor supply. In terms of economic growth, technological innovation is critical, such as uh, using the internet, various technologies related to the internet, uh, using the internet for marketing, for example. The entrepreneur identifies new customer segments or needs or presenting needs in a new way that has not been presented before. Technology also lowers the cost of information and transportation. Uh, the internet also levels the playing field between the larger players and the small players. The internet also allows us to market our service or product globally. The entrepreneur must embrace technological change in satisfying customer needs and growing their business. Understand that new industries are born when technological change, technological change rather, produces a novel opportunity that an enterprising entrepreneur seizes. Every business has its own industry life cycle. In the case of uh, internet learning, it, it is what we call a mega trend, spread over 30 to 40 years. So there's the birth, the growth, and the decline. We're still in the growth of the internet online learning cycle. In terms of job creation, the U.S. Small Business Administration defines a small business as one with fewer than 500 employees. My own, bit, my own personal business has uh, five or six employees. Small businesses generate 65% of the net new jobs over the, over the past 15 years. I call them many different points of light. Many, in terms of job creation and economic development, many new businesses are created out of necessity and rely on unskilled labor and extraction of natural resources. An entrepreneurial venture brings something new to the marketplace. The, the three primary characteristics are innovation, value creating, and growth orientation. And again, I remind you that this is a small uh, venture we have to understand these, these characteristics as the entrepreneurs. I had to realize the innovation that I was bringing to the marketplace in my business, the value that I was creating, how I was going to grow my business. The, uh, the economic world really doesn't care as much as we have to care for ourselves. That's an important uh, distinction. In terms of risk and, and the entrepreneurial venture, it is very important to understand that risk is an important an inherent part of the entrepreneurial process. The entrepreneur must gather information about the industry and the market, test the business model, and determine the conditions 
under which he or she will move forward. Impact, risk has a tremendous impact on the business and can either create uh, success or failure. In terms of the entrepreneurial personality, it is not clear what prompts someone to become a budding entrepreneur. For me, it was just basic desire and knowing myself. It could be the push, the mechanism that drives someone to become a, a budding entrepreneur because all other opportunities for income appear to be absent or unsatisfactory. Perhaps as such, when someone gets laid off from their initial career. Or pull, the mechanism that attracts an individual to an opportunity and creates a burning desire to launch a business and capture a market, such as with Facebook, perhaps. Many entrepreneurs drop out of the process as, as they move from intention to preparation execution. Many also give up before the new business makes the transition to an established firm. Uh, I've been in business for myself about 10 years now. It's been very well worth it. It's taken, it involves a lot more responsibility and time, but for me it has been worth it. One reason for new business failure is that entrepreneurs come up with a solution looking for a problem they have not identified a real need in the market. Sometimes the solution does not differ from what is already present. Sometimes the business model is untested. The firms most likely to survive over the long term are those that display superior levels of reliability and accountability in performance, process, and structure. This may require additional education, higher levels of education, and failure, especially in my business, is a fact of life which I've come to deal with and learned how to deal with through the process of diversification. The vital issue for entrepreneurs such as myself or for you, for example, is to minimize the cost of possible failure to recover quickly. In terms of the historical perspective of entrepreneurial, the entrepreneurial revolution, the United States was founded on the principle of free enterprise, and the term entrepreneur didn't become popular until the 1980s. The decades of the entrepreneur in the 1960s, bigger was better. 1970s, three trends that would forever change the face of business became macroeconomic turmoil, international competition, and technological revolution. In the 1980s, we saw business was in terrible shape. The 1980s, the 1990s rather, became the information age, and here in the 2000s we're facing with the knowledge economy. As you can see, all the uh, innovations with the iPhone and new apps and new technologies. In terms of current entrepreneurial trends, digital an anonymity, return to domestic manufacturing and craft skills, the lean startup movement. I was seeing very small businesses such as Snap, uh, instant, instant messaging, all kinds of technologies that I wonder how they're finding their, their feasibility. So in terms of your own action plan, read broadly about entrepreneurs and new ventures to get ideas for what makes a successful venture. Examine yourself through a self-assessment. See what's inside of you. Uh, Interview an entrepreneur to better understand the entrepreneurial mindset. Research trends, particularly in the industry in which you're interested. I hope this information has been a brief help and a good start to our week one learning outcomes. Thank you, folks. Have a great day.